trying to think here. What was it a wise person once said? Arrogance and pride sometimes clouds you to admit a feeling that is also both respect and uh, equal equality, so to speak. If that's one flaw that a very certain person has, then it's gotta be Ohun who has that flaw. Because we actually saw him this chapter, and I have to say I did not like what I just saw. Because this puts just more and more pressure on me, hoping, I mean, I don't, th I have said in many reviews, I actually don't think the Mountain Tribe and the Hishin unit, and before I confuse people, yes, I am talking about Kingdom, chapter 506, this is me, the Angry Anime Fan, to bring you it. So, uh, I, I actually did admit, I believe the Mountain Tribe and the Hishin unit will take this, but I have always said I really, really wish the Hishin unit will shine here. I mean, don't get me wrong, we're seeing the Mountain Tribe and... Uh, well, they are kind of much berserkers, but let's just say a berserker can sometimes actually be good in a battlefield of logic. You all know that. But um, what I mean to say is, please, Shin, don't be a fool here. And no, he's not planning anything fool, it's just that the, only the ending feels like a little bit, oh my man, what's happening now? But now that I have rejapped about this, how does this chapter start? Of course, the first starts with the Mountain Tribe uh, just charging in blindly right at the troops and uh, that petrifies uh, the South Troops. And, but these gallops are even fast enough to outrun arrows but unfortunately they cannot get in their clothes before the gates shut. And strangely enough everyone's uh, by for you says uh, there was no way it's gonna work. You don't say. <laughs> For a mountain tribe, that was actually pretty funny, but that's the thing, it was not meant to be funny, he was completely serious, but you know what they say, the comically serious, right? <laughs> and uh, Yontawa is just saying like, pay no heed, this is how we always operate. So I'm um, in a way, and it's clear though from what you hear from the translation of the other troops, uh, it's the fact that they don't mind dying for their ideals. And you all know, there was one very famous Shin China general in this manga who had the exact same thing on his troops. And half of those, or a, a bit of those, joined the Hishin unit. Yes, I'm talking about du Duke Hu and his army. You all remember them? I mean, uh, the, that arc with uh, him, with the collision armies, was one of my favorite arcs in the Kingdom manga. It's a shame, though, that that arc will never get animated. And if it will get animated, it will, we won't do it justice. But what I meant to say is that uh, as uh, Uki once said, uh, that others believe that those soldiers sacrificing themselves for Duke Hoyo's crazy charges was in vain, but according to Uki, that was not the case. The soldiers considered an honor dying in battle, but they did not plan on dying unless they could have taken at least three mem enemies with them. This is the same how the mountain tribe fail, as the translation from some tribe says, we have, we, we have already claimed the lives of our enemies, and we have witnessed the Hivan's tribe's courage. So for them, it doesn't matter if they die, as long as they can do what they do, the killing their enemies and showing real courage. Don't get me wrong, in real life that would actually be kind of uh... but let's face it, we hate real life and we are not to look at this manga at a real life perspective. Look at this in a manga perspective. Either way, and what I meant to say in the beginning, well it turns out that the Ohen, Ohon unit uh, uh, he, no, oh, uh, hears uh, that the fact that the mountain tribe and the Hishin unit are doing that. Of course the proud Troop do not like that, so Ohon decides to uh, get to the battlefield because, uh, according to his or <coughs> sorry, <a> stamped <coughs> words, is that he wants to ascertain Commander Ohon's intention with his own eyes. But here is something I gotta say I also like not about the uh, Ohon, but you know Kanjo, the guy who was once a subordinate of Ohon. Oh, 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 who joined the troop for 
actions they don't exactly give. He actually makes a very, very valid point. Of all the troops in Ohun's unit, I gotta say I like him the most. Mostly because, I mean, of course, he could just be a man of pride, like everybody else. But he seems to be a more like... Uh, uh, I think he looks down on commoners, just like everybody else. But he's also a guy who admits that some things are strong. Because he says straight to Ohon's not face, because Ohon ignores that, of course. You could just admit that you're curious about the Hishin unit. The, meaning that um, uh, Ohon is not going in there just to be in reinforcements. No, he wants to serve as uh, Karyu Ten. No, not Karyu. Wait. Yeah, Karyu Ten once said, or Shin said, does that mean you acknowledge Hishin unit strength? And I think deep down Ohon actually do acknowledge Shin and the Hishin unit's strength. It's just because of his pride and his nobility, he cannot look behind the bigotment of always looking down on a peasant, as he says. And the fact that Kanju says that he himself is very interested in the current strength is something uh, of Hishin units. This actually means that he is more open-minded. Either way, it seems uh, the true rookies of Hishin units are scared, but Kyokai is surprisingly calm. Well, not surprisingly, she has been in this war for many, many years. But she, that, when she says that the walls will fall anytime soon, what I dislike about this chapter, though, is he is Shin still wondering was was this all uh, just uh, talk? Either way, Baiju, um, no. Uh, uh, Bri Baiju and the Chuoka tribe, apparently Chuoka is a bird-like tribe, uh, gathers as uh, Yontawa asks Shin while scaring him from the behind, you know, saying like, uh, uh, Baiju squad will climb the wall, but we need existence uh, from you with the Chuoka tribe. But And Shin asserts that if Baiju can get up there, the place is as good as ours. I mean, he does have faith in Baiju. And as I said in the beginning of this arc, I really want Shin and Bayou to fight together again. I think that would be too awesome. Alas, I feel like that won't happen. But the fact that Shin himself says that uh, if Bayou take this place, that place is as good as ours, means he has a lot of faith in Bayou. And who shouldn't? We all know that man of that beast man. But he's also saying the fact that he is also certain they can take it. But they need one key piece. So Yontawa asks for archers. And finally... He Shin units sh army of uh, archers because apparent apparently they have uh, trained archers are now going to uh, appear. Though if I have to say something, they look all kind of nervous. So isn't there a very high chance they're gonna mess up? But either way, the archer brothers are now appear. So as I said before, still no shine of Shin. Like now, he feels like the blind rookie on the field, and we all know that Shin is no longer considered a rookie. But Kaiju said something. The current strength of the Heishin unit is something to watch. So, does that mean he knows the strength of the Heishin unit or something else? Either way, will the Archer brothers now finally show anything? And most of all, you cannot forget that they are shaking in both fear, amazement, and in nervousness. And when people are like that, well, you they always mess up. So it would be good if Shin could just say some words. We see, we'll see. But the two archers um, of uh, the two uh, brothers are now gonna fire their arrows. Let's see if they can fly as yes, the Shin unit can, straight like an arrow that pierces the enemy. So give me your thoughts if you have any. 